Imagine a world where most known antibiotics stop functioning. Bacteria are growing resistant to antibiotics. Antibiotic resistance already poses a significant challenge all around the globe when different antibiotics aren't available and can cause untreatable infections. Meanwhile, new antibiotics are being produced, but at a rate which currently cannot keep up with the emerging resistance. Overuse and misuse of antibiotics lead to their excessive output into wastewaters, both from animal and human treatments. Before returning to the environment, this water is treated at wastewater treatment plants. Treatment plants use a combination of technologies to tackle any pollution in the wastewater. Large particles are sieved, dense ones sedimented, and organic matter is digested by bacteria. Wastewater treatment plants are well suited to deal with many kinds of pollutants, be it bacteria, organic matter, nitrogen or phosphorus, treatment plants can usually reduce them to environmentally acceptable levels. However, conventional treatment plants aren't designed to remove all pollution. Novel, stable chemicals, micropollutants, such as hormonally active agents, pharmaceuticals and their residues may slip through the cracks, simply due to the treatment technology not targeting them. One thing needs to be noted, the effluent is often much cleaner than the recipient body river or lake, in terms of organic matter, nitrogen, phosphorus, and even microbiology. Micropollutants can also include genetic information, DNA coding resistance to antibiotics being the pollutant, the so-called antibiotic resistance genes. Wastewater treatment plants are designed to reduce bacteria below given emission limits, meaning remove most bacteria from the wastewater and not completely sterilize it. This means some bacteria will always be present in the effluents of treatment plants. The used technology also can differentiate between antibiotic susceptible and resistant bacteria. Because of the continuous exposition to low concentrations of antibiotics and other pharmaceuticals in the wastewater, resistant bacteria may even have higher potential to proliferate at treatment plants, and as such leave the plants in higher ratios when compared to the total bacterial population. And this is where Reparis comes into play, connecting multiple universities and research institutions across Europe and utilizing interdisciplinary approach – water technology, biotechnology, molecular biology and bioinformatics – Reparis assess various technologies in their ability to reduce antibiotic resistance genes and antibiotic resistant bacteria from wastewater or look for ways to remove these pollutants from the final effluents. We also create standards of these assessments so future results are comparable among different research teams and laboratories. Wastewater treatment plants can be effective in removing any known pollution, but we need to continually improve them to tackle the newest challenges humanity faces and creates. We might not be able to stop antibiotic resistance from developing, but quality wastewater treatment may provide enough space and time for new antibiotics to arise.